We need some sort of funny spin with with liquor or booze. Boozerator and boy and nuka citrus feel. I'm not sure about that. Booze keeper, Cyprus has suggested. That one might actually be pretty good. Oh, Belial has won. Tea master. How could I say no to tea master? Simple answer is I cannot, and I will not. Also, did I set up the uh, taste shaper? No, I didn't. There we go. There we are. You will have butchery as well. You will have brewing and no medicking. And once again, we'll set this up. I do wish there was a way that you could uh, do this for the cooking and booze production professions. But alas, it just isn't. Hospital needs to go between workshop. Hauling comes straight after building. Now, if I have a look up here, they should be practically the same. Oh, mining doesn't need to be there. Let's move that down. Now it should be practically the same. Yes, fantastic. Right, it is time to find out who the tea master is and who the taste shaper is. So, brewing 33. Hmm. Brewing 32. Wow, farmer 47. Seriously? I mean, wow. But you've got brewing 32, cooking 26, cooking 28 there. Ooh, you've got quite a good couple of cooks. Bangle Stelbimp is going to be our cook. So you are our taste shaper. And it's between burnt pies. And get, well, it's going to be burnt pies. Burnt pies. You shall be our tea master. You know what, though? Given their jobs... Well, actually... By not giving them hauling jobs, it just means that they're going to be... Uh, sorry, uh, agriculture jobs. It just means they'll, they'll be available for hauling. So we'll leave it at that. Now, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight left to name. We are going to need someone who is going to be in charge of working on clothing. So let's get this set up. We could go with cloth smith, but I don't think we want that. We will go with something weaver or weaver something. Let's check on what's going on in chat. Twine Fumbler, Soul Reaper has suggested. How fantastic! I approve! The Twine Fumbler shall be a clothsmith. Weaving and tailoring. Of, uh, uh, unfortunately, we'll go with tailoring for this one. We'll also have, a, uh, again, leather working. Or weaving and leather working, I guess. We'll go with. Both of them will have leather working, but th that can catch them out in a way. It is a real shame. Uh, we want mechanics. I mean, later on, perhaps, we'll be able to get all of that set up. But for now... We're just going to have to take the hit. So we're going to have tailoring and leatherworking and weaving and leatherworking. That'll be the secondary trait for them. And hospital as well. And then building. And finally, hauling. So the twine fumbler is in place. Though that said... Perhaps I should have someone who specifically deals with leather working, and another person who... Yeah, we'll, we'll have someone who deals specifically with that, and then someone who deals specifically with leather working. Yeah, that seems, that seems reasonable. So the Twine Fumbler, and then... Uh, something to do with skin. Um, you know what? I will go with Skinsmith. I like the idea of the Skinsmith. Let's get you set up. 
So miscellaneous craft, you will have leatherworking and only mechanic. We will also give you butchery though. That'll be your secondary profession. So there we go. We'll have hospital there, mechanic. And where are you hauling all the way up here? Building. And where is workshop? There we are. Pop that in, in there as well. Okay, perfect. So the skinsmith. Now, to find out who's got the better... You've got decent tailoring. Weaving of 13. If anyone has tailoring and weaving, then... You, well, you've got tailoring of 25. That's actually pretty good. Uh, nope. Weaving of 13. Okay, well, we're going to give it to the person with the highest tailoring. Which is... Galleon Eldar. Galleon Eldar, you shall now be the Twine Fumbler. Now, has anyone got any leather working skill? If not, then we'll default to someone with butchering skill. I actually don't think anyone has any leather working skill. It's weaving. Nope. Wow, okay, that's unfortunate. The dude, you've got fairly low skills overall, so you're going to be our skinsmith, because I'm not taking someone who has decent skills in something away from, from anything there. So that's our bone carver dealt with. We've got specific people dealing with plants, stones, trees, plants, animals, food, drink, clothing, leather working. We need an engineer. We could go with something... Hmm. Let's think. Golem. See? Ah, no, because Golem is a very specific thing within engineering, not specifically engineering itself. So we need something a little bit more vague, a little bit broader. Let's go with... <laughs> Tech Priest! Ah... Fantastic. The Imperium of Man has reached even to no more here. There we go. We will give you prospecting and all engineering tasks. Nothing else. You will, however, be a medic. Fantastic. Mechanic will be fairly high up there. Then workshop underneath that. Followed by building and hauling. However, tinkering will come as you are actually a tech priest. We'll come after all of your workshop duties, so if there's anything mechanical to do, you'll tinker. Which realistically means you'll never haul. Uh, that's fine. We'll have one tech priest. Let's see, has anyone got any machining? Oh, you got machining 14. Tinkering 13, machining 13. Okay, Waspinilva, uh, Waspinilva is uh, good for the moment. Yes, Waspinilva, you are our tech priest. There we go. <laughs> Cypress suggests Mechromancer. That was a good one, actually. That was a good one. But uh, alas, I've settled on Tech Priest. Now that leaves us with one, two, three, four, five people. Well, we don't have anyone to work on metal duties yet. And we probably should. But for now, until we've actually got something set up for them, I'm not going to do that. 
I'm going to go ahead and... In fact, we're going to have two tech priests. Because one person can tinker and the other person could be doing something else. So I need to find someone else that has machining. So Cyprus, you are also a tech priest. There we go. The rest, we're going to have two pioneers and two provisioners until we have such a time as we have the metalworking industry up and running. And then I'll get them involved in that. But for now, this will do. Right. I'm happy with this. Finally, we return to the gnomes themselves. Good times. Ah. Uh. All right, let's see what's going on in chat at the moment. Apparently, Merithor won the job, uh, the dubious honour of clearing out a blocked bath drain full of hair. Uh, thanks, Merithor. You are the hero that that we we need right now. I need to get out there and kill everything. You're not the hero we deserve, though. We deserve someone like Batman. We'll take you, though. Nuka Citrus, Avak, did you wake up recently to stream? How do you handle the time aspect of streaming? Um, well... It's a bit of an awkward question, really. I, I handle it more or less by not sleeping as much as most people do. In a nutshell, there's, there's no there's no other particular trick to it. Alright, have we made the mattresses? I believe we have. That means we need the beds. And we're going to have fancy four-post bed frames. Made of... Well, we want birch, but uh, whether we're going to get birch, I'm not sure. Right, we need to uh, harvest some birch. Is there much birch on the map? Yeah, there's loads of birch on the map. That's fine then. I don't need to worry too much about over-harvesting it. Oh, that birch is bloody miles away. Oh, there's loads up here. Okay. Agriculture. Fell trees. Go forth. My mighty tree slayers. There are trees for you to slay. Or terrorize, rather. Angry Beaver, your voice is so soothing, Avak, it always makes me want to sleep. I wonder if it's my voice that makes me want to sleep, or all the things I'm saying. Am I boring? Don't worry, I know that's not what you were trying to say. <laughs> but it does always amuse me when people say that. It's like, really? Oh, uh, why, hello there, Mr. Gollum. Ah, uh, how, how did you get in? Attack! Everyone rushing in. We want fun too. Let us join in. There we go. We have no meals left at the moment, which is a bit of a shame. The Soul Reaper, I shall be making automatons. I do not know if I can name them. Oh, hopefully we're going to get plenty of trees up there. Unfortunately, not many so far. That's the way. Keep chopping down those trees. Here come the wheelbarrows. What? Why are you not collecting? Uh, I disapprove. Come back here, you scallywags. There are many trees to be collected. Now, unfortunately, there's only like a few people who can uh, perform those tasks at the moment. Oh, door got busted down. Drat. 
fix that door. Also, build a bed. Build four poster beds. I will want the beds there and there. We will also build furniture, wall torches. I remember when wall torches were added and it was like, oh my lord, this is amazing. There are so many things I can do with these. This is such little things to, to be added, but it, it makes such an enormous difference. Abyss Shredder, Avak, if you name your autom- you can name your automatons, uh, automatons, you should make an iron automaton and name it the Iron Giant. I don't know if I could. I'd feel sad because I'd keep looking at it and expecting it to say, Superman. And I just, oh no. Then he sacrificed himself. Ah. Lump in my throat. I remember watch, uh, finding a, an Im uh, a painting on Imager, which was just like, a silhouette of mountains and, and like a starry sky background and kind of a, a, a very subtly shaded iron giant not quite a silhouette but he just kind of stood there with his you know kind of in a pose and then his reflection in the, in the water before the mountains was superman and it was like you know be whoever you want to be and i was like oh man the fields train has just pulled into the station And that was a terrible attempt at the, the Iron Giant voice, by the way. I can do much better. It's just my voice is kind of wrecked after streaming for so long. I think it was Vin Diesel who did uh, the Iron Giant's voice, wasn't it? That fellow impresses me with his rather diverse resume. Fantastic. We brought in all of those trees, or rather we want them brought in. It is raining. It is raining all over my gnomes. I don't approve. There we go. Eventually we're going to get a stone golem and that's going to ruin my day. Hi! Scallywags, get out of there. That, that's the ambassadorial quarters. <sighs> Clearly, I did just need beds, though. There we are. More you know. Right, well, we're going to need a stupid amount of mattresses, then. Go ahead. We'll have... Uh, one, two, three. Now I just need to move all of these down to the bottom. I want the sacks made before the mattresses, though. Ah, yes, yeah, so it is. Thank you very much. Warthog pointed out that my uh, stonecutter workshop was backed up. However, that is largely because I simply haven't made a stockpile for blocks. This should be a priority three stockpile. And it should only accept blocks. Then we're going to need a bunch of crates for it. So, crate. Pine crates, ideally. Three crates should be sufficient. We're going to need to uh, harvest a lot of pine. Once we actually found a uh, lumberjack trading partner with Castle Goat, it got to the point that I just didn't need groves. I could buy so many uh, trees, or logs rather, from them for trivial amounts of other things. It was ridiculous. The 
Leon, I could make straw beds, but I'd honestly prefer to make the mattresses. We've got so much cotton, it's not going to be an issue. Plus, using up all the cotton is going to free up all my other areas. As you can see, people are just rushing around now to get all of the cotton. I'm a little bit concerned about them going out at night, though. Still, there are quite a few of them. Over zero, I back your workshop, so slow down the more items in the outspace of the workshop. You may want to raise the priority on your finished goods stockpiles. No, at the moment I'd rather than prioritise bringing things in. I don't, there isn't a lack of priority on the finished goods stockpiles, it's the fact, if you notice, it was full. In fact, there wasn't any space in it to uh, put the items in there. See? It's all running fine. It's just uh, the lack of the crates was causing me an issue there. Ooh, the Ambassador of the Yellow Kingdom has arrived. Very well, Ambassador. Let's just get you a room. Is the Get out of here. You scallywag. There we go. Have yourself a room. Enjoy the hospitality of our kingdom. Don't mind the peasants, they glare at everyone like that. Satisis! Oh my god, Avak, I missed the start of the stream! And you're doing no more here! Kinda gotta watch it again after the ending of the stream. <laughs> you don't have to, but uh, if you do, I hope you enjoy it. <laughs> Rates off. I like you're such a tease when you put the annotation link to the next episode on episodes before it's been set to the public listing. Just sitting there. Teasing us. <laughs> okay, we have got some idlers now. It's been a long time since we had any of those. There used to be somewhere that showed me idlers. Perhaps it's in options. Gameplay? Nope. Show idlers? Nope. Hmm. Oh well. I was sure there was someone that showed me that, but uh, apparently not. Oh wait. Ooh, a bear. I don't really care about you. You can run away, it's fine. Okay. You got that bear is moving fast. Oh wait, it's double speed. <laughs> okay. I'm not as worried anymore. Now, how many mattresses have you made? You have not made many. That is fine. Now, I'm sorry everyone, but I would make you four poster beds, but no. See, the interesting thing is four poster beds and normal beds have exactly the same cost. Then make beds. Fantastic. As soon as those beds are made, we will start getting them out there. Also, we're still making plenty of cheese, which is good. 
check a little, take a quick look at our stocks. We want to see goods. Stupid amount of dirt. Stone? A uh, reasonable amount of stone. Wood? Quite a lot of wood. Thank you very much, Demo Pant. It is hugely appreciated. Let's have a quick. Grab a kapoi for Demo Pants. Now, silica and the slivers we're not going to have many of. We'll have seven metal slivers simply because of the golems we've killed. Got, wow, we've got 30 raw sapphires? You get. No wonder the goblins are sending armed attackers now. Not too happy about that. Let's have a quick look at you. How are you guys set up? Let's actually have a look at Kalik. You've killed four goblins so far. You are actually pretty darn good at fighting. Not as good at dodging. That is a shame. I would approve of you being good at dodging. I would approve pretty big of that. Pretty, pretty enormously. Oh wait, you're gonna make all the bed frames first, aren't you? Ah, uh, crap. You know what? There's gonna be an easier way for me to do this. If I just put bed at the top and set it to uh, always have one, or just repeat. Actually, it's easier. It'll continually make beds as, as soon as it's got bad frames. Until it runs out, and then I just need to remember to take it off repeat. There we go. Right, people are going to start getting beds now. Rejoice, my gnomes. For you are no longer bedless. You now have beds. I can only imagine how thrilled you are. I uh, need one there, and we'll also have one there. The Soul Reaper, goodbye, Avak and Dapplings. I must be off. Take care, Soul Reaper. I hope you enjoyed the stream. Fantastic. I am really approving of the golem fighting that we get we've got going at the moment. Currently this place is just full of dirt. Currently 1943. You know what? We could actually harvest more dirt intentionally to allow for additional golem fighting. I think that's a good idea. <laughs> 